the false mirror presents us with this enormous, lashless eye. Its iris is very implausibly filled with this luminous, cloud-swept blue sky. And then right at dead center is this matte black, opaque disc that doubles as its pupil. Before cleaning, the pupil was very shiny and glossy and reflective. Once the varnish was removed, the black became very soft and deep. So it really does become the focus of the painting. You could also see more details in the clouds and the sky. Also details like the highlights in the corner of the eye became much more apparent and visceral. The white that forms the highlight on the white of the eye is in zinc, so it's a cooler white than the lead white used in the clouds, which are softer and warmer. And we can actually distinguish these in x-ray images that we have of the painting. 